Hey, what's going on, crew? Welcome back to the Elm Creek, uh, the Elm Creek Pig Farm, which is still... We're still trying to get ahead of it here. Uh, actually, you know what? Let me go unload right now while we're chatting away. Now, like we said, we're just kind of getting things set up. We're still a little ways away here. We don't have any pigs yet. I'm trying to clean up these fields, get this replanted, get things set up, and then, hopefully then, we can talk. Come on, Gertie. Uh, let me give you... Yeah, there we go. Perfect. So, um, we've got the most things set up, but I do need to get a sprayer. And that's what we're taking care of today. We got a sprayer coming. You know what? We'll go pick that up. And maybe uh, we got some sorghum over there. It needs to be sprayed. And hopefully we can start to get these fields kind of cleaned up and ready to go. Because everything else is pretty much ready. Um, is that it? That's all you got? All right. Thanks, Gertie. I thought you had more. All right, folks. Finish off these fields. We got to go for a drive. Get some new equipment. See you in a bit. Hit or batter. <laughs> All this stuff taken care of. I still got one more field on the far side to go take care of and harvest. Sorghum, we need to, to fertilize a little bit still. Birdie's over there in the Rossel Mash, uh, tilling up some spuds. It's, it's busy around here today, guys. Did I ask for your excuses? We need to go dump out um, what we got. We got some oats, I think, and wheat in here right now. Let's go get rid of that. And we gotta head to town right away. Pick up our new, sp well, it's not a sprayer. It's, you'll see, you'll see. It's gonna help facilitate our spraying because right now uh, we don't have a lot of, well, we, we've got a small sprayer. I just, I need a tractor that's kind of dedicated to that. So we're gonna have a tractor that's fully dedicated to spraying right now. And yeah, I'll show it to you in a sec. But um, the new shop, it's there. It's just not open yet. I mean, the bureaucracy and the paperwork. Yeah, hopefully soon we can get into the new shop. We're still waiting on permits and all that fun stuff inspections you get you guys know what i mean right i mean next couple days we should be uh should be good to go there at least it looks pretty good though it looks good from the outside can't we do the parks of equipment inside of it i mean instead we're wait what 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 did i what did i get here what is this what what, what is this stuff um is that the weeds do we get oh man we must have got some extra stuff from that uh was that the that was the barley i think what did we get in this one Huh. Well, that's not good. Uh, I don't think the co-op's going to be too happy with that grain, guys. Um, that might be a bit of a problem. No, we got the max superliner in there. Uh, I'd like to move all this equipment out of this old barn. Not that I don't trust the old barn, but it's time to move this stuff out of here. And that's the reason we got the new shop, guys. The new business here. New shop's going to be, well, for all our, our big equipment. Um, the superliner, the trailers. We've got some more trailers coming. I got a baler coming. I've got so much equipment still to get. But we're, we're coming along. Things are coming along. But for today... Well, we've got our low boy and uh, as well the Western Star, the Heavy Haul Western Star here. So uh, we'll take this to go pick up our tractor, our new piece of equipment. Ooh, I kind of wrecked it there, didn't I? Fire this thing on up. All right. Let's uh, let's get out of here. Head back into the city and uh, we're going to grab this tractor and suit it on up. You know what? Oh, yeah, I got, I got flags. I got flags. I got flags. We're good. How's Gertie doing? She's out in the field still. Perfect. This driveway's a little bit tight for the old Heavy Haul. I'm not going to lie. She's a little tight. All right, let's get this on up. Uh, Gertie's in the middle. She's almost done this field, looks like. She's doing pretty good. All right, guys. Up into town. Let's go pick up this new tractor. Yep, that's it right there. I know it's it's nothing too, too crazy. I mean, it's an older case, 7150, but uh, low hours, really low hours on it. But most importantly, we got these Demco tanks, guys. Yeah, these are perfect. So we will attach our sprayer to the back of this. It's got the weights up front. We've got a three-point on the back. We got the Demco tanks for extra fertilizing. And, uh, and of course, it's running row crops on it right now. So this is going to be perfect for all our fertilizing needs and spraying needs around this uh, this pig farm. You know what? Let's get this thing set up. I've already got uh, this all taken care of. I'm just going to go run in and f sign off the last paperwork, grab the keys, and uh, we'll get her loaded up. There we go. Fired it up. Let's just, you know what? We'll leave it right here for an attempt. I got to go disconnect the trailer. I totally forgot to do that. Let's leave that right there running. We'll uh, move the Western Star out of the way. Let me disconnect the uh, the low boy here. We'll get this land all fixed up. There we go. Should be enough room. Let's just go back this thing on in. Back on in. Nice and easy like. Just get her up on the deck. Ooh, you know what? I don't have the extensions out on this thing. We're going to have to pull those out as well. Not that it's a problem because I think the narrow tires are fine for my measurements. But it'd be nice just to have a little bit of a buffer for the tanks especially. They're going to be hanging off quite a ways. Like, yeah, they're hanging off quite a ways here, guys. So, I might need to, uh... Ah, we should put the extensions out just to be safe. Just so no one decides to kind of cut me off a little bit there on the way back home, right? Yeah. You know what else? Oh, we need some flags. Yeah, she's a little on the wide side hanging off that trailer. We need to get, uh... We need to get some extension flags off this as well. Let's uh, hook this back up. 
and I'll put everything back in place. Let's go. All right, guys, there it goes. Western Star is loaded up. Of course, we've got uh, the extensions out. Like I said, I pulled these all out. I don't technically need them. It's more for just like no notification that we got a wide load, really. That's really the big thing there. You can see that's a wide load this way. Uh, I put the flags out just to be extra cautious. It's they're not doing a whole heck of a lot. I'm not gonna lie, but but they're there. They're they're there. That's the thing. All right, crew. Let's head back. Head back down to the pig farm. Let's see if we can get this case up and running and uh, do some spraying today, shall we? Let's go. All right, it's gonna be a little tight coming into the farm. Uh, this is a big trailer. Of course, we got lots of overhangs going on here as well. Oh, of course. Yeah, of course. There's a train coming. You know what? I can honk too. Yeah, get out of here. Keep moving. Every time, I swear I get hit by this train almost every single time I get stuck here. This is the problem when you got your, your farm on the far side of the tracks, I guess, right? Come on, let's go. Is there another one coming? We got a, is there a second train? Come on, man. Nope, guess not. All right, cross the tracks nice and easy. Come on, baby. Easy does it. Let's get over these tracks. No, the worst of getting stuck on the tracks with a truck like this, eh? Uh, and we're already home. Perfect. All right, let's get this out of the way. Back into the case. Fire this thing on up now. We've got our sprayer. The uh, attachment is back in the old barn, which of course I want to move. But uh, you know what? We're going to fire this right into the field right now. I would usually do like a, a, a quick inspection first off. To be honest, I don't have the shop available yet. So we're just going to go in and do this. Um, problem number two. I, I got to take the tanks off. Guys, I got to take the tanks off. I can't, I can't connect to the sprayer. The sprayer is right there. How am I... You know what? Maybe I can get another tractor. You know what? We got, got the case right there. I'll grab that case and yeah, we'll swap it up. Um, actually, these duels aren't going to fit through that doorway either. Uh, it's too tight. We're not going to fit. Ah, uh, lovely. You know what? I've got one tractor in here. I've only got one tractor that's going to work on here. And that is the 6R. No, 6M. 6M. We got the 6M. The little 6M in here. This is the only one that's going to work. And I can use the forks if I have to. But I can connect it with a three point on the back. Let's do that. Hey, you think I would have um, thought about this beforehand? You really would, wouldn't you? Yeah, definitely didn't think about this. I don't even know how I got that thing back in there now, to be honest with you. That's like a ways back in there. Uh, it's a good thing with the best driver in farm sim. Let's, um, huh. Yeah. Uh, let's spin it around. Yeah, yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. Now, can I can I sneak this in? We'll just lift, lift those out of the way and see if I can just sneak this in without damaging my... Um, hang on a sec. Let's see if we can back this up. Go above the trailer, maybe, with the forks? Like that? Yeah, 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 yeah. And then, and then we can do this, right? Oh, that's tight. That is super tight. <laughs> what on earth did I get this thing in here? All right, in we go. Grab onto it now. All right, let's grab onto this. You know what? It's a good thing the 6M is so stubby. Uh, it should be able to fit out now, right? I hope. I think. Yeah, as long as we, uh, as we leave those forks up nice and high, I think we're going to be good. The other problem is the sprayer is going to swing out a little bit i don't want it to hit that pole you know what if you hit the, one of those poles on this old barn um the whole thing could come down on us so let's be a little careful here there we go see i got this chat i got you know what i got this guys i've got this it looks it's like it's like i know what i'm doing i totally know what i'm doing let's just lower this back down down and um we'll go drop this off now see you guys had a... You doubted me, didn't you? You doubted me. I saw it. There we go. 7150 all set up. 6M put away. Yeah, this tractor is going to work out perfect, I think, for uh, for this little job we got planned on. Let's go down. We'll fill this thing up with fertilizer. Fertilizer going in. And now let's head over to the field to make it all just disappear. <laughs> we'll head right to the middle of our pigsty down here. We've got a couple pigsties, of course. We'll go past those. And then that sorghum field just up on the right-hand side here. We'll just head out there. Spray this thing down. Get this thing ready to go so we can get a good harvest on this right away here. I would like to get this harvested uh, a decent one. We got another field down here I need to harvest still. That's okay. We've got all this whole valley down here. In fact, we've got that old shed I haven't even been into yet. But uh, this one down here is what we need to harvest. We need to take care of this. We need to we need to fertilize this. Shouldn't take us no time at all. And there's also that stuff up on the hillside as well. A lot of little fields down here to take care of that we're kind of falling behind on. All right, let's unwrap. Get this thing unfolded. It's a little high right now, to be honest, to be spraying, but hey, what do you do? We got a chance to get her in right now. We might as well do it. Oh, easy. Let's push this on out. Perfect. Oh, yeah, there we go. Let's see if we can raise this up a little bit. All right, guys. I think we're good to go. Fire this on up. 
Sprayer on. All right, let's get to spraying. Awesome. Looks good. All right, let's finish off spraying this field. It should only take us a few minutes, but uh, you know what? The system looks pretty good, guys. We're going to have to do like two, maybe three passes here. It's like next to nothing. Not a bad little spraying setup. What do you guys think? Case with 7150 with some extra Demco tanks for, for capacity, of course. We've got the sprayer in the back. You know, it's not a self-propelled sprayer, but it's probably a lot cheaper uh, by comparison. The amount of money we'd spend on a self-propelled one on versus this. I mean, this is probably only $100,000 we're into this. A little less, actually. So not bad at all. Way cheaper than buying a self-propelled sprayer. But that being said, I wouldn't mind getting one at some point. But we'll have to wait and see on that. All right. Get down to the end. We'll flip this back around. Finish off this field. Yeah, she goes through this field pretty quick. We need some bigger fields still. I do have some other stuff I want to get over on the far side over there. Just over that hillside. Uh, closer to town a little bit. Off to the west end of, uh, of the area. West end of the county. We'll see if we can get there at some point. But for now, um, my main focus, of course, is on those pigs. We need, to get some we need to get some swine out here for sure. And get that rolling. So that's kind of going to be my focus here coming up pretty quick, guys. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. That'll wrap us up for the day. We'll finish off uh, spraying here, and then we'll worry about getting some swine here pretty quick. But I hope you enjoyed. Slap the like if you did. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss anything going on here on the channel. I'll catch you guys next time. From uh, the Elm Creek Pig Farm. We still need a name for this thing. I keep on forgetting to do that. We'll have to work on that next. Have a great day, folks. This is Clutch. Over and out. Mm -hmm.